That there's, there's many nations here, and I'm, I just feel so blessed today. And I'm here with you to stand for Standing Rock. That's our purpose today. So you've been very vocal in letting people know who we are, what we are, and why we're here. So we need to continue that. We hope to be in, to enter this building, and I understand it's been locked. So uh, with the young people, I will go and present a letter to the colonel here at the uh, ACO, American uh, Army uh, Corps of Engineers. Yes, that one. Uh, so I hope to give it to him. Maybe I'll just, if we can't get in, I'll slip it through the glass door, okay? <laughs> right? Okay? All right? That's good? Yes. 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 <laughs> say one more thing. In lieu of what's happening in this country with the presidential election, um, a lot of people are not doing well. They're getting sick. They're in pain. They're still in shock, I think. And uh, one of the things I've offered to do is hold a prayer and talking circle at our sacred site of Pavuna in Long Beach on the campus of Cal State Long Beach. So we will, you know, kind of do that. We want to refocus people, their energy to remember to pray for Standing Rock. If we can't go physically to Standing Rock, then let's pray. In numbers, we're very, very powerful. Look how powerful this gathering is today. I'm sure they hear us. I don't care if they have locked doors. They hear us.